in this video we introduce some applications of cosets to permutation groups and we begin with the definition of what a stabilizer of a point is. So let G be a group of permutations on a given set with elements 1, 2 to n. For any i from 1 to n, so it can be any of these elements, let the stabilizer G of i be the set phi in G such that phi of i equals i. So we call this uh, stabilizer G the stabilizer of i in G. So this is the, the element, so to speak, that stabilizes um, so the stabilizes stabilizes uh, i in G. Okay, we introduce now a second definition after the stabilizer. We now introduce the concept of orbit of a point. Let G be a group of permutations of a set S. For each S in S, this S here is the group of permutations, let the um, orbit S of G be phi of S, is the set phi of S such that phi is in G. So the set orbit G S, orbit of S in G, is a subset of S called the orbit of S under G. Okay, so we take a first example here of orbits and stabilizers. We pick this set G, where G is this this cycles, all the cycles. So G is a set with these elements. Let us begin by the stabilizer of G. What is the stabilizer of G? The stabilizer of G, it will be of 1, for instance. It will be phi of 1, that will be 1, right? Okay, here 1 is 1, so checked. Here 1 goes to 3, here 1 goes to 3, 1 goes to 2, 1 goes to 2. So 7 goes to 8, 8 goes to 7, so 1 stays the same. Okay, 7, 8 is a stabilizer uh, of 1 in G. So this is the set of stabilizers of um, the set of uh, stabilizer of the point 1, of element 1. And the orbits of 1 is, so you recall that the orbit of S in G is the set phi of S, right, such that phi belongs to G. Okay, so where is 1 taken? 1 is taken to 1. Here, 1 is taken to 3, right. Here 1 is taken to 3, here 1 is taken to 2, so it is taken to 3 and to 2, on 2. So OK, so the orbit G of 1 will be 1, 3 and 2, and the stabilizer will be uh, the cyclic 1, in cyclic notation 1 and 7, 8. Okay, what about element 2? The orbit G of 2, um, here 2 goes to 2, here 2 goes to 1, right? 
so two goes to one here two goes to one done two goes to three right uh, two goes to three okay so the orbit of <coughs> two in g is two one and three what about the stabilizer stabilizer of two so here two goes to two okay and here two goes to two so th that's the stabilizer of two right because two here goes to one two goes to one two goes to one two goes to three okay so the only stabilizers of two are one and seven i, sh I shouldn't this i have a coma here okay right uh, right yes because this it's this seven eight here right yes perfect now what about four so the orbits of four here four goes to four okay here four goes to six checked four goes to six checked four goes to five so five is also an orbit of four four goes to five what about the stabilizer here four goes to four so that's one and the other is the seven eight again okay and what is the, uh, the orbit of seven in g so this uh, seven goes to eight right so eight oh here seven goes to seven so seven seven goes to not here not here uh, yes here seven goes to eight so it's in the orbit about here here seven goes to seven here seven goes to seven here seven goes to eight seven goes to eight okay seven and eight okay that's the orbit of seven in g what about the stabilizer of seven in g um here seven goes to seven uh here no this is not a stabilizer because seven goes to eight here right yes here yeah. so this one one three two four six five is a stabilizer of seven because seven, seven goes to seven and this one two one two th cycle one two three cycle four five six because seven goes to seven so one two three four five six this one, one no because seven goes to eight and here no, 7 goes to 8, so this is not a stabilizer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the orbit of 7 in G, and this is the stabilizer of 7 in G. I'll leave here a quick example on D4. The, um, D4, the group of permutations of the points making up a square. And we illustrate here the orbit of a point P. Okay, so P will, will go from this point to this point, from this point to this point, and from this point to this point. Okay, so what is the stabilizer of the point P in D4? It will be only the rotation zero that keeps P in P and also the rotation through the diagonal it will keep P in P so the stabilizer of point P in D4 is the set of uh, zero rotation and diagonal and here we have a point Q so the, um, the permutations of Q under the 4 will be this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So the stabilizer of Q in D4 will be only the, uh, the, the rotation of 0 degrees. Because even the diagonal, the diagonal changed this point to, into this point. Okay, so the only stabilizer of Q, the point Q, I'm considering this one, the point Q, 
of point Q in D4 is the null or the zero rotation. Okay, we get to the very important theorem of orbit stabilizer theorem. Let G be a finite group of permutations on a set 1 to, to n. Then for any i natural number, the order of G will divide the, uh, the order of G will be equal to the order of the orbit of an element i in G times the order of the stabilizer of the same i in G2. Okay, so we get quickly to the, the proof. So, using Lagrange theorem, we know that the order of G um, Let me write it in a different way. The order of G obviously will divide the order of the stabilizer of any element I in G, right? And not only that, but this is the index, right? So we will get here the, the, the number of distinct right cosets of stabilizer. So we will have uh, no, the stabilizer I in G, uh, the right cosets, so that will be this set multiply on the right by A, A in G. We are going to get the um, right cosets, and here we will get the um, the number of right cosets in G. Okay. This is without loss of general generality because you can do the same for the, the the left cosets too. Okay. So now we need to establish a one-to-one -one correspondence between the right cosets, these right cosets of. Um, we have to establish a one-to-one uh, -one correspondence between the, the right cosets of the stabilizer of I in G and the integers in the orbit of I. Okay? So, what we are going to do is we are going to get a transformation of stabilizers of I in G. Um, well, now we need a uh, now the thing is I prefer to write phi here. Phi of the stabilizer of I in G, but this is only notation. Okay, will be mapping to phi of phi, right? So we only want to show that um, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the right cosets of i in G and the integers in the orbit of i. Okay, so. Let me say quickly that uh, phi here is the group action, okay? Okay, so first we have to show that uh, this T is uh, well defined. So we show that um, the stabilizer G of alpha I equals the stabilizer G of beta I. Okay, and we have to show that this is uh, alpha I 
this implies that alpha i equals beta i. Okay. Um, but this is uh, really, really simple because the the stabilizer of alpha i in G. If the stabilizer of alpha i in G equals the stabilizer beta i in G, this implies that alpha beta inverse is in the stabilizer i in G, right? So alpha inverse beta i will be equal to i. Okay, so that means that alpha i equals beta i. Okay, really simple. So if you read the, the argument, the argument in the other direction, uh, it's easy to to check that t is um, one to one. Okay. Um, let me quickly give you the, an idea why, uh, and this completes the proof, right? Um, uh, that T is uh, onto, um, onto the orbit G, orbit of I in G. Okay, let us take a J in the orbit uh, I of G then j equals alpha i um, for a alpha in g, right? And it's obvious here that the stabilizer uh, in g of alpha i, so the, the, the transformation of the stabilizer of alpha i in g is going to be alpha i, right, and that will be g, j, right, so this means that t is onto, and this completes the proof, okay, I would call it half a proof, okay, because I jumped some steps here, but you can easily uh, fill the, the gaps, okay.